Good morning, YouTube viewers. Just making a quick video to make you think. Have you ever had someone try to tell you that you have to know Hebrew and Greek just to know God? Do you ever think about that? Why is it that so many people think that you have to have a master's degree in theology, that you have to know Greek and Hebrew to actually fully understand God? Wouldn't you think if you had to know Hebrew and Greek to, to know God, that God would automatically have you uh, programmed or have it in your system or in your mind already knowing Hebrew and Greek? That's the problem with the uh, Christian world and the problem with religions today is that everyone believes that they know God or that they have spoken to God. But you, as you can see, the, re the results of that is there's multiple religions. Who's to say that the Christian book is the one that's right? Who's to say that the Muslim Quran is right? Who's to say that the Hindu scriptures are right? Who's to say that the Catholic books are right and all these other things are right? Is God telling these people to write these books? These are the questions you need to ask. Is God, did, was God involved in the picking of the 66 books? Did God really choose that council of people to pick the 66 books? Think about that. Whoever said that you had to have to be able to read a book to know God? Do you think God made it that way? So does that mean someone who can't read cannot know God? Is the only way we would ever think about God is because of the book? that somebody wrote. So before the books was written, did people know God? And according to your own books or your Bibles or wherever you read, if you was reading, wasn't God speaking to these people directly? Did they have to have a book to know God? Did you ever think about that? Where all of a sudden can people even speak about God uh, 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 that they needed a Bible to speak about God or some type of book to speak about God? Think about this, people. If you didn't have a Bible, or if you didn't have a Quran, or if you didn't have other scriptures, what would you say about God? What would you say to other people about God? Would you be able to speak to them and say, God said thus and thus and thus, without having nothing to back it up that he said? You would just be able to say, God told you to tell people this. But you would need no scriptures. Think about that. Do you think the real God really wanted us to know him through a book as if he can't introduce himself to us himself do you think that the real god needs so-called sacred books to speak to human beings when he could just speak from heaven or as we would say through his spirit think about this this would stop a lot of arguments of everyone claiming that they know who god is or or or, or anything because everyone's based on scholarship I'm making this video in response to a guy named Christian Road Warrior who always comes out of people's pages like he knows everything. But he brags about his scholar, his scholarship. He brags about how he's uh, in, um, getting ready to be in graduate school and that if you don't know Hebrew and Greek, then you can't debate him or anything like that. And I've noticed through the eight years of my journey of other pastors try to use scholarship. Well, around here, that didn't work with me because I knew this book more than them. But the bottom line when it comes down to it, if it is, is this. If God is speaking to any human being, women, men, whatever country you're in, if he's speaking to them, we should be saying the same things. There shouldn't be nothing different. The Muslims shouldn't be claiming the Quran is the sacred book to know God. And the Christians should be saying the Bible is the sacred book to know God because God doesn't need books, period, to be able to talk to you. That's the point I'm getting to. For instance, this book, the Holy Bible, supposed Holy Bible, brings up, mentions other books like the book of Jasser. So when you read the book of Jasser, you start seeing stories in there about men being half horses and half man and all these other weird things going on. That re That's the reason why it didn't make this book. In other words, the whole book of Jasser in here, but it's mentioned in here. You need to think about those things. You need to ask yourself the question, did Moses really write the five first five books? I mean, and if he did, did God directly speak to him and tell him detail by detail what to write? You need to do a research on if Moses really wrote the first five books, because if he did, guess what? He didn't have a book to know God. God directly spoke to him. So why doesn't God directly speak to you? Why doesn't God directly speak to the prophets? Everyone's saying that they're prophets. Why does God directly speak to them? Now, I was programmed to believe that this was the word of God. So I would claim that God spoke to me. Why? Because it, he speaks through this Bible. So whatever I say, 
it must be in here and that would mean God said it. But when you come to realize that this book is not uh, uh, God speaking to us, then you have to, I have to come to a reality that God is not telling me what to say. Do you understand what I'm saying? The point I'm getting to is this. Ask yourself this question. Could you know anything about God to be able to speak to anybody about God if you didn't have a book to be able to have something to say about him? In other words, could you say God directly visited you and told you something? Could you say the angel Gabriel, what he looks like or what he spoke to you? Can you say anything about that? I bet you couldn't. You probably would never speak about God. And many Christians do not speak about God because they don't even know their Bible. So therefore, they can't even tell you about God because they don't even read their own book. But think about that. This might not be telling you about God. This is telling you what men and people came together with traditions and stories and cultures and trying to explain God, but it doesn't mean God told them that. So like, did God really tell Moses that a snake came and talked to Adam and Eve? Did God, why didn't God go in depth with who Satan was and how he and what went on and why he sinned in heaven and why he came down? Why didn't God go in depth with all of that? Why, didn't, why doesn't God go in depth with so-called the heavens look like or heavens will be like or heaven? Most Christians believe you'll go to a place called heaven, like, like you leave planet Earth. Most Christians believe that stuff. But the point I'm getting to is this. Think about this. Why would God have to speak to you through a book? Why would God choose people to put this book together who doesn't even follow this book? Why would God wait 300 years two, three hundred years after Christ supposedly died and resurrected to put this book so-called together if he wanted us to know him through this book. Why would people argue now about the translation, the so-called English translations for us, and say you got to know Hebrew and Greek to even understand God? Why would God make it the word the majority of people, especially even back in so-called Jesus' time, they was illiterate. Why would you need a book to speak to him if the people couldn't even read? Think about this, black people. They didn't even let black people read in America forever for a long time because they didn't want you to be able to read at all. You think God put them in that situation or God couldn't speak to them directly? You need to think about this question. Since when does the God of God who created the heavens and the earth and everything, when did he need a book to speak to us? Why does he need a book to speak to us? I think we've been programmed to, to tell you that you must... God can only talk to you through a book. Listen, who says this is right? That'd be arrogant. Muslims say their Quran's right? Arrogance. Who is really speaking to God? Did God really tell you to say what you're saying? Because I believe God would tell you to say something that's absolute. That's truth. Absolute. That means if God is speaking to us through this, every single word in here should be absolute truth. Period. So whatever book you use, it should be absolute. God talks about absolutes. So are you absolutely sure that God is speaking to you through this book? That God told somebody to put this book together so that he can now talk to us? Can you talk to God without a so-called sacred book? That's the question I'm asking you.